good morning all myself chandra so in our uh, previous sessions we have discussed about the mills of uh, topics pre advanced topics and also the advanced topics and uh, from now onwards we will move to the real time project employees master and before that i am going to share few details like uh, what are the best practice to be as a professional and also to be a uh, team member so for any of the requirement first we need to gather the requirement so gathering the requirement is a important role and it is very important to understand the requirement and also we have to note down our queries whatever the queries that we have so that we can ask the queries to understand the requirement thoroughly and before implementing any of the services maybe it is a api services or maybe it is a some other uh, technology services so first we need to understand the requirement thoroughly then only we can uh, give the best so we need to put our efforts to give the best of the requirement and whenever there are any blockers in our implementation so we need to raise our blockers so raising blockers is not a, a bad thing so we have to let them know so what is a, uh, it blocking you from the implementation point of view and if it is going to take uh, two days and don't give any false estimations of the requirement uh, implementations so give the real time uh, estimations and one more thing is uh, so whenever we are uh, collecting the requirements or uh, sometimes we might need to send an emails uh, to and uh, we will get the emails from the other team members so whenever we are going to write an email so please try to put the information more as possible and also ask more questions whatever the queries that you have so that in one go you can get all the information and instead of uh, uh, giving or uh, uh, writing uh, simple lines in the email and then you are going to uh, uh, write on the email so instead of that uh, ask as many details as you want and also provide the information very clearly to the other team members so that uh, they can understand your uh, criteria or your uh, scenarios and next thing is that if it is not resolved within the 2 3 email chains then make sure that you are going to set up a meeting instead of the mail threads and you get the clear idea of what you are doing and uh, uh, you will get a clear requirement to uh, understand and you will get a clear view from other teams point of view also next thing is that in our mills of implementation or any of the implementations so make sure that we are following the best practices and also we need to provide a uh, naming conventions that has to be uh, in line with the existing requirement and also existing common practices that we are following for the client and make sure that we are going to create a reusable services a reusable flows and we need to create an exception handling that is common to the project so that we can make sure uh, to use that uh, exception handling in other apis as well and we need to provide a logging uh, that is going to log as much information as possible and also it has to contain the information that can be trackable for our debugging point of view whenever we deploy our services or apis then whenever there is a uh, request failure then we can make sure that by using the logging we can track and uh, uh, provide the details easily and also we need to apply an retry strategy so whenever there is a failure so you need to uh, retrigger the same event and uh, for that we have to implement a retry strategy within the api services and another one we have to create and organize these reusable apis in the layered architecture so uh, in our real time project we are going to use this employees master and i will show you the 
Enterprise Master's data model and based on the data model we are going to create a different layers of uh, uh, APIs and to extract the information from the system of records and we are going to expose that system of records information to other uh, applications and also we are going to get the information from other front-end applications and we have to create these records of information into the data models uh, database and we are you going to create that by using the layered architecture and the uh, most important thing is in this implementation process we have to do a thorough testing unit testing which is a very important uh, thing and whenever we are going to communicate with other team members be gentle and coordinate with the team members even though we are a team lead or any of the scrum master or a team member any of the role that we are being aligned make sure that we are asking the questions politely so that it will create a positive environment in the team and they are ready to open and they will ask the questions and also they are ready to mingle with other people and we will get a better output from the team this is all i wanted to say so in our next session we will discuss more detail about the project requirement that we are going to implement and uh, we will uh, see any of the questions and we will answer those questions so in our next session we are going to discuss more in detail about the project requirement and uh, how we are going to create the services thank you